the way God will come through for you in this season will surprise everybody around you in the name of Jesus Christ I say it again the way my God will come through for you you expect him to come this way he will come in a way that will sign his signature upon your life that everyone will know that there is a God that sits in heaven every business and every ministry that has gone under attack every man of god whose voice is being fought by satan every anointing whether in this city in this nation you are a man of god and the devil is fighting your voice fighting your relevance fighting your ministry i come from that presence and i decree and declare that battle comes to an end now hear me every business here under strange attacks you used to do well but you don't know what suddenly happened sales have gone down clients have gone down inexplainable tragedies by the power that raised christ from the dead that devil gives way now every parent here you don't seem to understand what is happening with your children again poor performance in school wasting your school fees they are intelligent people but something happens to them in the name of Jesus I declare deliverance for you now please sit down the Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty hallelujah praise the name of the Lord do you know let me tell you this when you understand the mystery of the presence of God it is beyond the realm of anointing no you can be a carrier of the living presence of God that when people come within the circumference of your person this is not about falling down or standing up unconsciously you can be in a place and when God wants to rescue a destiny, he will just make them pass close to you. Did the Bible not say the shadow of Peter? The Bible called it shadow. We know better. It's not the shadow. They came under the influence. Peter carried that presence. Take that presence to your office and watch what happens. Take that presence to your business. For as long as you think I'm just a homo sapien, I'm just an intellectual. No. You are a carrier of that presence. That you make up your mind that I will never shake anybody or greet anybody and the person goes back and nothing changes. No. Hear me. Someone comes to greet you and says good afternoon sir he shook your hand and left and he may not know what he carried all he knows is that i shook his hand and goodness and mercy began to follow me what is the mystery behind my day favor from morning rest following me and the lord will remind them that you shook one who stands in the presence please sit down it is a risk to walk outside of the shekinah the presence of god there is no guarantee for immunity the bible is clear to us from psalm 91 that there are arrows that fly by day you know the thing about the arrow you don't know who shot it you just know there was an arrow if i shoot an arrow i can be from my room and yet shoot it there if i use a sword you will see the person holding the sword but an arrow can go in in battles you don't know where they come from but the presence of god can immune you can i tell you if you intend to rise if you intend to grow if you intend to manifest the influence of the kingdom please understand divine presence otherwise you will fall down one day for no reason and you probably might not be able to get up are we together if you ever think everybody will clap for you because you are rising think again 
we live in a world that is immersed in wickedness but in the name of jesus that presence will rest upon you and and surround you and any arrow projected towards you that that the thick skin of that cloud will not only stop it it can reverse it back in the name of jesus christ the psalmist said in psalm 3 please give it to us psalm 3 verse 1 lord how they increased that trouble me hmm. many are they he says that rise up against me two many are they which say of my soul there is no help for him in god i love it i'm not going to sing it but i will recite it it says but thou O lord art a hold on he didn't say you brought a shield you are the shield yourself did the bible not tell you the name of the lord is a strong tower that you can enter and you are saved from today anyone who plots evil against you whether by witchcraft or divination whether you are asleep or awake in the name of jesus the son of the living god before you wake up judgment would have happened already please sit down now watch this in the new testament jesus gave us a very powerful illustration that while men slept it was time for sleep the bible says an enemy came certainly that enemy found access there was no covering no hindrance did you know that there is a name satan is called the thief question how many thieves will come through your gate and knock responsibly and say i came to steal the thief is a master at violating order a thief is not just one who steals he's a master at violating order a thief does not respect due process he tells you there is an adversary who does not respect due process and that cloud can cover you while you sleep and someone is making enchantments and saying, how can this person be the first to rise in this family let us conjure something that will bring him down and while they try to project you they think it's your face that will show up at, at, at that enchantment is fire that will answer right from that shrine in the name of jesus christ can i tell you this i want you to believe what i'm telling you hallelujah there are many of you listen to me just when you want to rise and move and excel here comes these arrows that fly by day the noisome pestilence that wastes in noonday every time you see people rise and cannot continue something is stopping them hallelujah can i tell you this when the glory of god rests upon you you not only find favor you not only find rest round about you can be sure of your protection listen you can hold a gun to protect you your gun is only useful if your hands are not tied is that true and you can shoot and if you have the courage to shoot is that true there are certain assaults of the devil that happens so fast you will need to be immune before not during hallelujah you see by reason of what i do i'm not just glorifying satan believe me by reason of what i do this is daily i interact with people who were not covered this is the place 
of encounter. I want you to know that this is a place where God increases your convictions. This is the place of surrender. Do to me what you want. This is the place where your life will change. Do to me what you want. Listen, when the Lord turn again the captivity of your family, when the Lord turn again the captivity of your destiny, it says we were like them that dream. How beautiful is it to see the other side of pain? How beautiful is it to see the other side of a man's trusting God? How beautiful it is to see a man trusting God for grace. Lord, I know you still anoint men, but where is the anointing? When you see the other side of that man. How beautiful it is to see a wilderness turn into a fruitful vine and turn into a forest. I believe in miracles. I believe in the hand of God. I believe the supernatural can invade the world of men and correct and adjust things. I believe in 24 hours God can change a man's life. Listen, I believe in the law of process, but I believe in speed too. I believe God still lifts men. I believe God still uses men to make statements in a territory. Can anything good come out of Nazareth? And God says, come, let me use you. Let me show men that I am still God, the lifter of men. I believe this. I believe that God is a healer. I believe he's a deliverer. I believe when men lose things, they can get it back. Yes, sir. Including time. Including time. I believe that when men lose things, they can get it back. I believe God can anoint ordinary men. Men who are just available. But the level of grace is not there. But I know there is a place a man can come to where you encounter the power of God. Everywhere is not the same. No. No. God is everywhere, but he does not manifest his power everywhere. I believe in the power of God. I was sent not only to reveal his face, but to reveal his power. To let men know that he's still alive. To correct misunderstandings about God. Please listen to me. I want to charge your faith before we pray. I believe that challenges can end i believe that problems can end did you hear what i said i believe a man can sit down and search left and right and only see the goodness of god i believe it i believe it i believe prosperity is real i don't believe prosperity destroys a christian I believe in the blessing of the Lord. I believe in what it can do to your family. I believe in what it can do to your children. I believe in what it can do to your health. I know poverty causes sickness. I know it causes worry. Nobody will preach into embracing nonsense. No. I believe a man can prosper even as his soul prospers. I believe in speed. I believe God can compress what should happen in five years in one month. I truly believe it. I truly believe it. I believe God can restore time. When a woman has been barren for seven years, if she gives birth to one baby, we thank God, but it's not a statement enough. When she gives birth to triplets, God took nine years of space in three, three years and compressed it in one year. Now, that's victory over.
over time. The hardiness of the hearts of men will require some dimensions of results to break their pride to honor God. Please listen, let me tell you. We are not going to use stories and noise to get people to Jesus. Wealth is a weapon. The anointing is a weapon. Favor is a weapon. Mercy is a weapon. Wisdom is a weapon. What are you fighting with? Desire, you will not win. It takes you being equipped with the spiritual arsenals that have been made for the victory of the saints in light. The planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. I believe a man can weary the devil to a point where he will let you go. I believe you can live in a territory and create your own climate financially, spiritually. I believe it. Listen, out of everything I'm saying, throw away the ones you don't believe and open your heart to the ones you believe. I believe a believer can serve God better in an atmosphere of comfort. When your children's school fees are paid, you will serve God better. Don't let religion come with the pride of men and pretend that it does not matter. Yes, I know that none of these things should affect our love for God. But let me tell you the truth. There is a level of pain you continue to have that can harden your heart towards God. It takes time to know God. It takes time to serve God. And that's the time the devil does not want to give you. You will never have time to serve God when you are moving around chasing money. You will never have time to serve God when you are moving around lobbying a way to, li to be lifted. Vain is the help of man. People of God, please hear me. God did not gather us tonight to waste our time. He gathered us tonight to make real the things in our lives that pertain unto life and godliness. Can I tell you this? Whether you believe in what I said or not, it does not change the truth. The truth was buried. It took only three days. It came out. So whether you believe in the truthfulness of what is said or not, you embrace poverty and see what it does to your life and your family. Embrace mediocrity and see what it does. Embrace sickness and see how much you will spend per week. Your entire resources, when you are finally broke, then the person will die. Is that sickness? Why will it ten, take 10 years to build one house? Is that a testimony? A prostitute will sleep with a man overnight and wake up by the next day with estates and houses and everything. Let's be careful the things we say about God because many of them are not true. Please hear me, especially for our precious visitors. Don't magnify your challenges and come hoping God will change your life. We are talking God here. Not a doctor. Not a consultant. Not an architect. Not a monarch. The God of the universe. You may not be sick in your body, but who told you he cannot change your life? Do you not know he's called the father of spirits? That God can speak to a man while you are here and compel him to bless you. That God can give you a dimension of grace that you didn't enter this building with. And you turn back and on Sunday you climb your pulpit as usual and suddenly fire a new dimension of grace do you believe in what I'm sharing if you been evil know how to give good gifts let me tell you you can hold on to the hands of God and say it was never about your hands it was about your heart but tonight I need your hands too in addition to your heart 
step in over my life step in please don't give up on god wake up don't give up on god don't come here hoping i've waited waited the god of heaven can compress time if you don't believe all this there's no point being here tonight because we are going to pray and you must insist that tonight is not the night when i will clap for anybody i came to mean business with my destiny listen when we begin to pray i like you to insist that anything that does not bring glory to god in your life must leave this night no matter what it is some of you may need to rewrite your prayer request again because of your pain you've stopped writing some things you just concluded that god this one just just leave this issue no when it was time to resurrect lazarus he said roll away the stone roll away the stone proof that you believe in resurrection by rolling away the stone two things men did they rolled away the stone and they lose the man what if they lose lazarus and they found out he was not alive or he just fell and collapsed your destiny must open up tonight it's not a blessing for people to doubt the bible says to be diligent in these things to prove your calling and election to make it sure there are things that must be in your life to validate your call and your election if you're a man of god yet trust god for grace for god's sake just go and stand before people and just open a scripture and speak and close it and say let's pray no that's what the scribes did all the time but jesus came and opened and read the messianic prophecy and he said today this scripture is fulfilled in your eyes they thought they would share the grace he closed it and he told the guy with the withered hand he said stretch your hands these things i write to you O excellent theophilus of all that jesus began to do and teach not teach alone do and teach can we pray please find a serious neighbor and i like you to pray from the depth of your heart the gift is only given to them that ask god cannot assume you desire it please lift your voice in one minute and cry to the god of heaven outside pray those following online pray lord visit me lord visit me appear to me by your word as it were in shiloh rekata kata barakato shekete bakata pray over your ministry pray over your business pray over your career pray over your destiny Lord, I came that the gates be open tonight. Pray. Pray. That devil must leave my destiny today. That wilderness must be turned to a fruitful vine. That wilderness must be turned to a fruitful vine. Pray, pray, don't look around. That wilderness must be turned to a fruitful vine. Place something upon my life, oh God. Place something upon my destiny, upon my business upon my church
Alléluia. Alléluia. One more prayer point. And the Lord will set this place on fire. Genesis chapter 21. Genesis chapter 21. Genesis chapter 21. Read with me please if you are a believer. One, two, read. And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said. And the Lord did unto Sarah as he has spoken. Lord do to me as you have spoken. You said many things about my life. Do it. I've heard you but I need to see it. I've heard you but I need to see it. Do to me as you have spoken. You said I am the head and not the tail. Do to me. You said with favor shall you encompass me as a shield. Do to me. You said you will restore the years the canker worm has eaten. Do to me, O oh God. Pray, do to me, O oh God. Visit my family. You said you will wipe away every tears. You call 2019 my year of extraordinary fruitfulness. Do to me as you have spoken. do to me oh god you said i will have my child in 2019 do to me as you have spoken Oh yeah yeah oh yeah oh look up please look up I want you to receive every grace that the Lord is going to be releasing in this place because you see let me tell you every grace supplied to you is the strength to survive the squallow of any season and if you do not obtain the requisite level of grace for any season you will find out that your life will remain barren and unfruitful truly i came i came with all my hearts tonight I, I don't want it to be 
a miracle service that we just play around casually please believe for something to come upon your life believe for a grace to come on your life see this thing about anoint if it's not there it's not there period very simple hallelujah praise the lord i want to pray i'll stand tonight praying on the grace for speed hold on hold on please listen there is a reason why i continue to say this many destinies are too slow to glorify god are we together now when the devil cannot keep you at a standstill then your progress will be so slow it is said i must walk the walks of him while it is day that means i need to gain time it says for the night cometh when no man will walk again let me tell you my brothers and sisters there is a real grace for speed if you have not seen it is because it's not on your life there is a real grace for speed that vetoes the sentiments of men so i want to pray i want to start from there and then we just allow the lord to take us be conscious of what comes upon you be conscious of what comes upon you that's how god answers prayers he answers prayers by putting something on your life that will compel creation to begin to act in a way and a manner that will change your life are we together please lift your hands and let me pray I believe in the grace for speed I have seen a measure of that grace and I know it is true that God can shift a man I'm going to pray and release this grace and inside and outside that anointing and the anointing works let me just tell you the anointing works you will see people begin to run it's it's not anything superstitious it is just the character and the operation of that anointing we need it the lord put it in my heart we need it for our businesses ministries and so on and so forth father in the name of jesus i decree and declare right now inside and outside i stand by the anointing of the holy ghost and i declare right now at the count of three let this grace for speed that you have provided even for this season let it rest on people now i release that grace take that grace now please bring them out take that grace now inside outside everywhere i activate the operation of this grace i shift your life in the name of jesus to strength dimensions in the spirit receive the grace for speed receive the grace for kabakatalika parousia receive that grace for speed in the name of jesus and the hand of the lord came upon elijah and he ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of ahab to Israel. i command speed 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 bring them out speed help that woman please my god I'm still praying in the name of Jesus it says ye have encompassed this mountain for too long turn ye not what I prophesy again like 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 fire from heaven let that grace for speed mantle a family now not just an individual let it come upon families families receive speed i shift you i shift you in the spirit new level speed speed bring them out speed you will never be the same 
never be the same i'm not praying for individuals now i'm praying for families any family stagnated here i stand by the power of the holy ghost and i prophesy speed inside and outside i release speed right now now the lord is that spirit he says and where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty the lord is opening my eyes and i'm seeing chains on people's legs chains and the lord is saying the lord is bringing deliverance now i'm seeing chains if you are under this category as i'm praying now the fire of god i'm seeing fire moving but not on people's heads on people's feet i decree and declare is it not written that where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty at the count of three anyone whose destiny has been pegged by these chains i declare be free now be free now let the power of god come upon you be free now by the anointing of the holy ghost be free now I want to pray God I'm telling you I'm seeing this is I'm still seeing it chains you see let me tell you this look up look up the Bible tells us that there are many things that should happen where the Spirit of the Lord is one of it is Liberty do you know what Liberty is It's a separation between you and the obstacle that mocks God in your life there is such a thing in the dealings of God with men has given men liberty i want to pray there will be a mighty deliverance right now many of you this is what has plagued your life if it is true that victory was wrought on the cross then it's time to establish it now please listen to me just follow with the instructions be childlike in your heart and let god give you a testimony are we together now He said, while men slept, the enemy came and sowed tears, sowed weed among the, the I mean, uh, uh, among the, 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 the wheat. And he, we are going to destroy everything. For this purpose was the Son of God made manifest. I'm going to pray and at the count of three, I will ask you to shout that name. Right there. I don't know what kind of bondage I'm seeing this night but except God is not God you must be free right now in the name that is above all names I pray for individuals and families alike it is true that there are yokes and ordinances of darkness that have held men bound but in the name of Jesus everywhere here overflow one two three outside as you shout that name that is above all names i decree and declare that everything that is not the planting of god in your life and family must jump out of your destiny at the count of three one two three shout jesus i command forces and your go now go now Release destiny. Release destiny. Elabarakatoshe pekeretos. Eliabratos keperekatos. Every ordinance that is not the planting of God, let it go now. Let it go now. I'm speaking by what I'm seeing in the spirit. Let it go now. I'm seeing a vision of a man with a handkerchief wiping the tears of a woman 
and I know that this is, is symbolic because the woman stands for the bride, the church and I'm seeing the Bible says he will wipe away every tear I don't know what family and what person came here crying but the Bible says to comfort they that mourn I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit let an anointing come upon your life now that terminates everything that brings tears that terminates everything that brings tears bring them out hallelujah young lady please shift this one you lift your hands shout Jesus as loud as you can Oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Yahweh Yahweh Oh yeah yeah say Oh yeah yeah oh yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah Yahweh Yahweh Oh yeah yeah say Oh yeah yeah My friend lift your hands this yes you the lord is granting you the spirit of revelation i saw something come upon your eyes and the lord is saying he's taking you to dimensions of revelation let her go now now release her family now in the name of jesus please listen I, I know that we don't have time but please I want you to every time the Lord shows me this then I know that he wants me to move around I begin to see lights a similitude of angels by my left and right and is is a very is a very mysterious way that God moves to touch people when this begins to happen all I need to do is you don't have to touch me just move around your role listen to me except God is not God as he has anointed as i pass your role if there is anything that is not of god it must let you go are we together now so please you pray the moment we do that then we'll begin to minister to the sick these things are signs and wonders they are supernatural they are supernatural even by the spirit thank you jesus please I just want you to believe by faith just believe by faith and then as i pass the lord is going to touch you it will be the end of it's not something you can do anything about you are under the influence of the anointing are we together now thank you jesus that everything that is not of god must give way in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare right now by the power of the holy spirit let there be liberty now liberty now in the name of jesus madam be free i take it out of your life now the hand of god is upon you in the name of jesus christ receive the lord is touching you i'm seeing god's taking something out of someone's stomach here it's going now now i release it now be free now be free now be free now in the name of jesus be free now i'm seeing fire rising from this row just from i don't know who it is but fire is coming on someone from this row Right now, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. Oh, 
Shala Paruka Tapa Rikete. Keep praying. Keep praying. Keep praying. Something is leaving you. I'm standing here. There is the power of the Holy Spirit is setting someone free here within this place right now in the name of Jesus Christ. 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 In the name of Jesus. Help that woman, please. She's holding a baby. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands here. Everything that must leave anyone, I declare it must go now by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Please, all of you here, just lift your hands. Right now, I stretch my hands. Now, something is coming on people right here. Be free now. 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 Now! Keep praying, lift your voice. Overflow one, keep praying. Something is about to change in your life now. Please, you don't have to touch me. And I want you to help everybody close to you. As I pass, the anointing of the Spirit is touching everything that needs to leave. Thank you, Jesus. Be free now. 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 That anointing is touching you right now. Be free. Be free. Be free. Be free. I take it out of you right now. The fire of the Holy Spirit. Right here where I'm standing. Right here where I'm standing. The Lord is taking something out of your life. Be free i'm standing here and the lord is saying it is over he's speaking to someone it is over an anointing is coming on you now it is over 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 madam be free now the power of god is touching someone here in the name of jesus be free in the name of jesus be free be free be free be free, be free. Please help them help your neighbor so they don't enjoy themselves be free now in the name of jesus i declare and declare be free. be free be free be free every devil of darkness be free now. please open your heart and receive stretch my hands here anything that help be free now be free now be free now be 
free now. I'm seeing a chain, a chain around here. I don't know who that person is, but I lose you now. As I stand here, I lose you now. By the spirit of the living God, I lose you now. I lose you now. Hallelujah. Overflow one. I don't know if I'm able to walk around. It's working now. Please believe. It's a few minutes. God is touching you. You came here so that he will visit you. It's impossible to not testify. Now, please look at me, Overflow 2. I'm not going to pass in your midst. I will walk right here. And as I walk, the power of the Holy Spirit will begin to touch you. Thank you, Jesus. Be free now. Be free now by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Now, now, now. Be free. I take away every reproach. I take away every reproach. You can't stand it. No, it's impossible. It's impossible. We're talking of the anointing here. Every reproach, go now. Every reproach, go now. Every reproach, go now. I stretch my hands here. Go now. Go now. Every reproach. Every reproach. Go now. Go now. I release your destiny. All of you standing here, I'm passing now. The power of God is coming on you. Be free. No. Praise the Lord. Okay. Um, I'm going to walk around. I may not go row by row. Please, let your heart be open. Please. Except God is not God. Whatever it is that has held you, as I pass by the Spirit, the power of God comes on you. Some of you will be receiving impartation. It's not everybody that is going to just be free from whatever it is. Father, in the name of Jesus, honor your word right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Right now, be free. I may not be able to move, but please lift your hands. All of you, at the count of three, overflow three, let me hear you shout the name Jesus. The moment you shout that name, I'm seeing like, I'm seeing like fire coming out of people. This is something living people. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Be free now. Be free now. Be free now. Be free now. From the front to the be free now in the name of Jesus. I release your destiny now. I release your destiny now. Madam, look at me. I set her free now. Release her destiny right now. That woman you are holding. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Listen, I declare to you. I, I release speed inside. I want to pray that prayer now. I don't know what has slowed you down. Overflow three. From the front to the back. May the grace for speed come on you now. May the grace for speed come on you now. Please, whether you are an usher or not, whether you are an usher or not, help anybody under the anointing close to you. In the name of Jesus, I don't know what has held your destiny bound, but in the name of Jesus, one more time, I want you to shout the name Jesus at the count of three. One, two, three. Be free now. Be free now. You came for a miracle service. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please look at me. Overflow 3, look at me. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a family. I will soon walk out, but 
I just want you to know you are part of the and that it doesn't matter whether you are inside or outside. The Lord is showing me a family here. There is a plague of sickness. Everybody from father to the last child. There is nobody who is fine. Right now as I'm speaking, the power of God is coming upon that family right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Overflow 3. I'm seeing the number 21. This is the healing anointing coming on 21 people. Right now in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. This is not a healing miracle. This is the anointing to heal. Right now from the front to the back. Upon gentlemen and upon ladies, receive that grace. Receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. Please everyone, overflow one, two, three, main auditorium. Please open your mouth and begin to pray in the spirit. And declare that everything the Lord is doing must find expression in your life. Lift your voice and pray. moving listen let me tell you the truth i want you to believe believe that god will step in and turn your life around hallelujah turn your life around from the back right to the center i'm seeing the power of god come on someone now from the back right to the center from the back right to the center please bring them out right now now the lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty there is liberty an end comes to every oppression an end comes to every oppression an end comes to every oppression an angel of the lord is still standing here I'm still seeing this road right now it's like smoke just moving across right now from the top to the back please bring them out an end comes God is stepping in to locate people by his spirit remember the Bible says now the Lord is that spirit and it says where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty I command every oppression of darkness I want to pray now I see fire in this place this is what I'm seeing by the spirit of the and listen at the count of three I want you to shout the name Jesus that every spirit that is other than the spirit of the Christ responsible for any challenge and any predicament it must let you go now inside and outside online are you ready father let there be deliverance right now one two three shout jesus jesus i cause every power bring them out right now every oppression of darkness it must go now it must go now oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, Yahweh, Yahweh. Oh yeah, yeah, say. Oh yeah, yeah. 
I'm still praying. The Lord is showing me a vision of a padlock in the spirit. I'm seeing a padlock and I'm seeing what looks like a key about to open it. At the count of three again, you're going to shout that name. I see opening, opening doors that have been closed. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Be open now. Every closed door be open now be open now be open now close doors over families close doors over ministries close doors over destinies I decree and declare be open be open now bring them out please be open now be open now in the name of Jesus overflow one two three across the road online be free now hallelujah I'm seeing I'm seeing like stones in a vision. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm seeing like a strange fire. These are representations of altars. Listen, there are families that have been covenanted to all kinds of ordinances. Fire is about to come from heaven right now. In the name of Jesus, you are ready to shout now. Father, every family here that is under any kind of ordinance, I come tonight with the rod of a higher priesthood at the count of three let fire from heaven liberate that family right now one two three be free right now be free right now be free right now in the name of jesus we blot out handwritings we blot out handwritings bring them out i cause altars yokes of darkness ordinances Speaking against the people of God. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, Yahweh. Oh yeah, yeah, say. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, say. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, Yahweh. Hallelujah. I'm seeing the map of Nigeria, and I'm seeing the hand of God go to the eastern states the eastern state right now God is bringing deliverance the east Abia, Anambra state Enugu state Epoi state I'm seeing an anointing right now rest on people within that state let there be liberty right now let there be liberty right now you belong to that state the power of God is coming upon you right now right now even the lawful captives shall be delivered it's a sign and a wonder how God does it I'm seeing the map the east God is bringing liberty hallelujah the Lord is showing me the map again I'm seeing an arrow and I'm seeing it go to Benway Benway state right now I stretch my hands Benway Benway that anointing you are from that state any ordinance tying your destiny must let you go right now must let you go right now this is by the authority of the kingdom Benway State Benway State liberation right now in the name of Jesus Christ 
de la barato sabrán de que le va la lava. Release their destinies right now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm seeing fire just within this circumference in front. There are two families God wants to set free right now within this circumference. I'm seeing fire coming upon them right now. Bring them out right now by the spirit of grace. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. things must change in your life my friend this young man lift your hands where you are there is oil being poured on your head right now right now in the name of Jesus the Lord is removing something that looks like an arrow from your head let it go right now in the name of Jesus Christ let him go now Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh Hallelujah. Fire is still falling here. I'm seeing this deliverance is especially for women. An entity comes to molest you in the night. You go to bed. And a strange spirit just comes right now with the name of Jesus the Lord is asking me to just count two and at the count of two that fire is coming on people right now one two let that fire come now liberation from ordinances of darkness every stranger that comes to manipulate your destiny be free now all those in front here I decree the power that holds you I come by the rod of a higher priesthood at the count of three let them go now one two three go leave them now release their destinies right now let there be restoration everything that has been stolen from hell I command a restoration by the spirit of the living God by the spirit of grace the Bible says now the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty. Be free right now. Please open your mouth and begin to pray. Everything that must leave your life, insist it must leave your life now. The angel of the Lord is removing arrows. I'm seeing arrows, arrows coming out of people. That's what I'm seeing. Arrows, 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 arrows right now, right here. Arrows, arrows, go now. Arrows are being removed out of people. In the name of Jesus, Madam, be free right now. Be set free now. The Lord is setting someone free here right now. Someone in this row. I'm seeing fire just resting on someone. Be free right now. In the name of Jesus, everything that has held you bound, be free right now. Be free right now. Be free right now. Be free right now. In the name of Jesus, be free right now. Be free right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Those outside keep praying. Something is resting upon you right now. The Lord asked me to come to overflow one. I want to pray for you. There is an anointing right now. I stretch my hands. Fire from the front to the back. Everyone under any kind of yoke right now as I'm passing be free. Be free, help them please. Out, now, release their destinies. Release their destinies, now. Please help them. Whether you are an usher or not, help them. That yoke must let you go now. That yoke must let you go now. I'm passing this road right now. 
whilst I pass you the anointing of the Holy Ghost is taking everything that is not of God release them now release their destinies now release their destinies now let that fire rest upon you right now everything that has refused to open be open now be open now be open now be open now close doors be open now be open now now listen overflow two i may not touch you but in the name of jesus i pass your role except god is not god if there is anything sitting on your destiny must let you go right now be free be free i bring you the anointing of the holy ghost be free now open up your gates your gates gates be open destiny be open now be open in the name of jesus be open now in the name of jesus be open in the name of jesus be open in the name of jesus fire is resting on this road just right there i'm seeing someone the oppression of your family is coming to an end right now i stand by this grace please anyone here anything that is not of god sitting on your destiny right now at the count of three all of you just i'm seeing fire right now and i'm seeing chains broken from people's legs right now be be set free now be set free now be set free now be set free now there is a lady here god is saying it is over right now i'm seeing an anointing liberating a lady's family right now help them please whether you're an usher or not please if anybody's falling close to you so they don't injure themselves hallelujah please shift that lady be free now i'm pointing my hands to her i command that devil to leave your family and your destiny now in the name of jesus christ begin to pray begin to pray overflow three pray pray overflow three something is about to release your destiny now something is about to release your destiny now something is about to release your destiny now overflow three i came with an anointing at the count of three shout jesus fire is falling from the top to the bottom one two three go 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 now every yoke every altar be free now bring them out whether you are an usher or not, bring them out. Every oppression of darkness, right to the back. I declare by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Be free now. Be free now. Bring them out. I've seen all kinds of spirits. I command every spirit that is not of the Christ. Release God's people right now. At the count of three. I'm seeing fire resting on people. And I'm seeing a number 41. 41 people. At the count of three, shout Jesus. Are you ready? One, two, three. Shout Jesus. Right now, be free by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Be free right now every door that has refused to open i open that door right now in the name of jesus christ hallelujah there are 27 people here the grace for speed is coming upon them I don't know who you are but right now the grace for speed I stand by the anointing from the front to the back right now in the name of Jesus receive that anointing right now speed I release speed over your life over your destiny receive speed in the name of Jesus speed in the name of Jesus. hallelujah overflow three hear me there are people here the lord is telling me no one rises in your family 
when they get to a level something brings them bow and the lord is saying i should shift you by prophecy i stand right now i don't know where they are but the anointing of the holy ghost is going to come upon you right now in the name of jesus i'm seeing the number 17. lord i don't know where they are here but in the name of jesus i declare move to the next level right now i shift you to the next level right now i shift you to the next level right now hallelujah i'm looking at 14 people here you have the call of god upon your life and right now the anointing of the holy ghost is going to locate you 14 people lord where are they i stretch my hands right now apostles prophets evangelists pastors deborahs lord where are they let that man to locate you now the call of destiny that is upon you oh prophet of god may that fire find you in the name of jesus christ hallelujah there are 15 people here overflow three the spirit of revelation is coming on you unusual insight i don't know where they are but right now i'm seeing light not fire light light coming on people 15 people step into a new dimension of the revelatory grace right now in the name of jesus Yahweh. Yahweh. hallelujah praise the lord main auditorium please lift your hands main auditorium lift your hands i'm seeing seven people main auditorium lift your hands i'm seeing seven people the grace for speed i'll pray it on everybody but the main auditorium there is a grace for unusual speed on seven people they will begin to run by the anointing right now please hold them so they don't injure themselves main auditorium i stretch my hands at the count of three like elijah may that grace come one two three receive that grace right now in the main auditorium step into the anointing for speed in the name of jesus overflow three lift your hands every door that has refused to open over your ministry over your life held down by witchcraft in the name that is above all names at the count of three i'm seeing doors open in the spirit one two three let that door be open now be open now be open now the lord wants to avert death over a family this year alone between last year and this year four people have died in your family four people have died and in the name of jesus christ an anointing is coming upon you right now let death be averted now in the name of jesus now listen all of you at overflow three and the extension there whatever must live your life as i'm passing this place please i am releasing my faith open your mouth now and declare lord it must live my life now go ahead go ahead pray please all those in front here the spirit that ties your destiny i command at the count of three let them go now one two three go 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 out of their lives out of their destinies make sure you are praying make sure you are praying the power of God is resting on someone here there's an anointing coming on someone right here in the name of Jesus there's an anointing coming on someone here and the Lord is saying it comes to an end 
that family crisis comes to an end the power of God is resting on someone by my left here right now receive that anointing let it go in Jesus name be free right now in Jesus name the power of God is resting on someone here right here I'm seeing an anointing right now it's a prophetic grace there's someone here a prophetic grace is coming upon you right now by my left here in the name of Jesus drink of that anointing drink of that fountain may that grace rest upon your life right now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus the Lord says it is over over right now by the power of the Holy Spirit look at me my friend the Lord is taking you to a height and a dimension in the spirit I lay my hands on you drink of that grace in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah I'm seeing what looks like smoke just this region where I'm where you're looking at me right now there are four people I'm seeing the power of God like a wind just coming on them just this road right now Lord where are they I stretch my hands right now right now the power of the Holy Ghost is coming on those people and the Lord is saying it is over he's taking away captivity four of you by the spirit of grace let it be over right now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus there is a family here marriage does not happen in that family but I'm seeing fire rest right now the embargo is being broken now the embargo is being broken whoever those people are an anointing is coming on you now for the sake of your family that yoke of marital delay is breaking right now is breaking right now in the name of Jesus please lift your voice and pray everybody pray in the spirit pray in the spirit there is one of you among those standing here there is a call of God upon your life an anointing is coming upon you you will be mightily used by God where is that person spirit of the living God the hand of God just near the gate here the power of God is coming upon that person right now a new dimension in the spirit the eyes that see and the ears that hear may you step into that level in the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ my friend touch this gentleman for me lift your hands I stretch my hands over you I command I'm seeing chains all over your body I command those chains to give way now in the name of Jesus release him now let him go now by the power of the Holy Ghost I cut those chains I'm seeing chains from your head to your toe let me pray for those here please all of you right here I'm the Lord is opening my eyes and from here to the fence I'm seeing snakes and I'm seeing five people there is a major deliverance that is coming for a family right now in the name of Jesus may the anointing of the Holy Spirit locate those ones now five of you right now this spirit my God my God I'm seeing something living right now release them now release no matter how long release them now it is written that even the lawful captives shall be delivered I declare emancipation now by the Spirit of the Living God You are a gala. I want to pray for you. Are you alone? If you came here alone, what do you do? I want to pray for you. The spirit of death is upon you. And the Lord is saying I should pray for you. So that those dreams you used to have, seeing dead people, is that true? You have dreams and... Too much, yes. The Lord is saying that you are going to be free from it right now. I declare in the name of Jesus, by the power of the hope. In the... There is, there is someone here. Hi. Academic delay over your family is breaking right now. I just... Please don't be carried away acting this thing. I passionately to help people experience God. I'm praying. I don't know where that family is. But now scattered in this congregation, I stretch my hands. Let the anointing of the Holy Spirit family right now. I'm seeing a family here none of you has a job none of you there are even a few graduates but nobody at all it's like the doors of jobs don't open right now you're going to sense fire come up your hands real physical fire and the Lord is saying by that help them 
by that that embargo is broken lord i i declare right now let the anointing of the holy spirit rest upon those people and bring emancipation everyone lift your voice and begin to pray in the spirit please begin to pray in the spirit don't say you are not inside god can locate you from any direction god can locate you from any direction bring me this lady please in the name of jesus christ delay ends in your life i stretch my hands and i pray delay help her the lord is taking away witchcraft from this family i command that devil go now see it doesn't matter whether you are inside or outside just release your faith in the name of jesus be free right now be free right now my friend the call of god is upon your life there is, that is coming upon you it's a healing anointing i stretch my hands may that grace begin to work effectually now step into that grace in the name of jesus christ hallelujah now listen among all of you from here to here the grace for speed is coming on two people listen those two people will start running now please hold them hold them so they don't enjoy themselves that anointing right now all across two you can control yourself hold them please whether you are an usher or i release that grace speed two people strange speed god is ending delay right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing two of you a prophetic anointing you are not prophets but you have been desiring this grace the grace to see from here right to where that lady with the veil is i don't know where they are but i stretch my hands may that anointing find you right now accuracy of sight and help them help them please help them please in the name of jesus christ name of jesus christ name of jesus christ an angel of the lord is taking away reproach there is a family here the lord is saying the captivity ends now an anointing is coming upon you right now it's now in the name of jesus someone here is it your sister has been trusting god for the fruit of the womb who is that listen where where is she at home what of you come how long who has had three miscarriages three miscarriages go and tell her she will have a baby girl that the lord is giving her a baby girl in the name of jesus i pray for you both in the name of jesus let it come to an end right now let that captivity come to an end in the name of jesus there's someone here your family has a court. court case who is that please court case don't make sure you don't tell us please they want to kill you because of what what did you do what did you do hold on i have to where are you from where is that i have to pray for you you have bad friends hold on let me talk to you eh? you have very bad friends bad friends you need to be delivered this is not even your whole life huh you know what i'm saying right you need to repent eh? listen when i make an altar call run and come because the real salvation is you it's not the issue of court case of this you you have friends that are criminals and we have to pray you hear what i'm saying God is locating you to help you. Listen, let me tell you, my dear people, I mean, when God locates us like this, is because he wants to help. Hey, there's somebody here. Your name is Sarah. Where is that person? Sarah. Hold on, please. Don't, don't. Let me just prophesy. I, I, my heart is full. God wants to visit people. Stand up. Who is Sarah? Where are you from? Huh? Where are you from? No, no, we're state of origin. I want to pray for you. 
who is Godia? Yeah. Godia. The Lord wants to visit you right now. Acting God truly wants to change your life. Yeah? I want to pray for you. Whose mother is in the hospital? I'm seeing someone's mother lying down in the hospital here. Your mom? Come. I'm seeing that down in Portacot. Port uh, yes, I Portacot. You came from Portacot. Go on. I'm going to pray. For Do I know you? I've never seen you. I want to pray for you. God is turning your situation up. Is, as you are standing, let your heart be open. Your people may be far. Don't ever think I'm just because I come outside like this to encourage you to let you know that you must not make it inside. You win. Are we together? The power of God is going to come upon you a loud shout. That will be the person I'll prophesy to right now in just those outside here. It's not something you can stand. This is a sign and a wonder from the Spirit of God. That's not the shout. The shout is coming. It's a loud shout. Please bring the person when that happens. That's the shout. Bring the person. In the name of Jesus Christ. My friend, lift your hands. Jesus, come. Do you? What are you doing? What do you do? Of God, your own church, you are assisting someone. You came here not just to receive a miracle for your mother, but you came to take fire. Stand up. Why you came? Listen to me. You are going to go back and you will step into a dimension of signs and wonders that will surprise you. Sarah, in the name that is above all names, every oppression over your family, I come against it right now. I'm still hearing that name, Godia. Who is that? Hold on, please. Hold on. Where are you from? Huh? You are from Kat Saminaka. Hold on, please. Your sister. Blood sister. Same father, same mother. You've been praying for God to locate you. It's okay. You. Hi. The spirit of death is over your family. Huh? That's what I'm saying. I'm seeing you dreaming and dreaming of dead people. They will come and they are calling you. Sometimes they are saying you should eat together. This is the spirit of death coming on the family. But in the name of Jesus, I use them as a point of contact. If there is anybody under the sound of my voice that the spirit of death is coming upon you, help her. I caught spirit now. Name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing a family money does not stay in your house no matter what happens once resources enter you love god but resources something must happen either sickness or they will steal it or something will come up i'm seeing what looks like a blue flame and it's resting on at least five people and the lord is saying an end comes to financial hardship father where are they right now i stretch my hands let that anointing locate you right now in the name of jesus christ Please lift your voice and begin to pray. My friend, lift your hands. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. An end comes now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please lift your voice and pray in the spirit, everyone. My dear, look at me. I command that spirit to leave you now. Of darkness must let you go in Jesus' name. Lift your voice and pray, everyone. Please pray. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Please pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit, everyone. Madam, help this woman so that she doesn't fall with it. I command everything that is not of God to let you go now. Release this woman's destiny now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oppression leaves right now. Someone here, there is a spirit that has oppressed your family. It must go now. I command that devil of darkness, help her please. That spirit must leave now. In the name of Jesus. Please everyone pray in the spirit. Everyone pray in the spirit. God is visiting us right now. 
Shela kaproska da barunda shala kosia. Shela kaprande gede balakatosia. One media person here, there is an anointing resting on someone. The Lord is bringing to end the captivity on your family. I'm seeing it by the Spirit of God. Captivity coming to an end in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, let it end now by the Spirit of the living God. Let it end now in the name of Jesus. My friend, I'm seeing what, what looks like a towel on you and the Lord is wiping away infirmity in the name of Jesus infirmity let it go right now please make sure you are praying in the name of Jesus the son of the living God the spirit of death there is a family here that spirit must go now the spirit of death release them now in the name of Jesus release them now release them now the spirit of death there will be no obituary I command that devil to go now Madam, excuse me. Madam, look at me. Come. Are you a man of God? Come. You too. Please come. I don't know you. Where are you coming from, sir? Where do you, what do you have to do with Adamawa? Is it Anambra? Huh? Who is from Anambra? Me, from Anambra State. Hi Precious Sets, your life is about taking a new shape, your life is about being transformed so mightily, so heavily. I want you to be encouraged, I want you to be strengthened, for God has not given up on you, He cannot give up on you. Remember the story of the dry bone and God spoke to His servant, He said, Son of God, can these bones live? He said, Lord, you alone know it. The Lord knows your plan, He knows your situation is decaying. He knows your life is coming to an end point. He knows your life has reached its elastic point and therefore he is set to bring transformation. He is set to cause sinews to come back to eat bone again. He is set to make bones come back to their bones. And don't forget, he is set to revive everything. If the dry bones in the valley could come back again, bones joined to their bones, it means God has not given up on you. Stay encouraged on this platform we do ensure that all that god has programmed for your life definitely comes to pass don't give up on god remember for he cannot give up on you he truly cannot give up on you don't forget hold on to the word of the lord and see that your life is being changed forever reflector hub tv we have a mandate here to bring to you the potent word of god the realistic word of god which is able to make you wise is able to make you desperate, which is able to make you understandable, spurring up God's faith, light, favor, blessings upon your life, and to ensure that you become outstanding in your generation. Do well to subscribe if you've not, and also don't forget hit the notification bell and share this video to loved ones, families, and friends. God bless you so much. We love you.